Good afternoon. Right now, I am live from Seattle in the state of Washington. And first of all, I would like to pay homage to the Triple Gem, the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Again, I would like to pay respect to both venerable Dhamma speakers who are joining today's program, the Buddha Sasana program. Uh, which brought to you by the Cambodian Buddhist Monk Society in USA, presided over by Prehati Muni Sang, the abbot of what Muni Sitaram in the state of Minnesota. So this program is meant to promote and disseminate the teachings of the Buddha, both locally and internationally, specific, specifically for those who do not understand Khmer. So that is why we host the program once a week, uh, in English, so that it, in the hope that it will help in some way for those who uh, use English as the uh, daily basic language. And today we have uh, come up with very another very interesting topic entitled "Taking Refuge in the Triple Gem." Of course, this uh, topic is very uh, familiar with our daily life. I believe that. Uh, most of the Buddhists are aware of this topic and we have talked about this topic very often in our life. We talk about the triple gem, we talk about uh, taking refuge in the triple gem, we pay homage to the triple gem, but how are we understand about this term? How much, how depth uh, do we understand about this word? So today we're gonna discuss a little bit into detail of how the triple gem refers to and uh, what does it really mean and how to uh, pay homage uh, in, to the triple gem in order to take on the right path, uh, respecting on the way of uh, Buddhism. So we have invited both venerable speakers. First of all, we have uh, venerable Tamatero Chumbichet and he currently resides in what Munisutaram in the state of Minnesota. Welcome, Venerable, to the program. And next, we have Venerable Damasiri Sam Janti from the state of Arizona. So, most Venerable Speaker will uh, be sharing with us about the meaning and also the related uh, ideas around the Triple Gem. So, without further ado, for the sake of time, I will start the very first question uh, with uh, Venerable uh, Tamatero Chumwijet. Can you please explain? about the word triple gem what does it refer to and um, why is it so called why is it named as a triple gem is there any meaning behind it or any historical background behind it Pante, please uh, thank you for having uh, me today uh, with the uh, buddha sasana program in english yeah yeah as a venerable uh, moderator uh, um, to in introduce, um, I'm uh, one of the English talker or speaker today with the venerable uh, Dhamma City. And the topic today is about um, Triple Gem. Triple Gem is, is uh, we can uh, call um, a motor more of the uh, Buddhist Buddhism. For example, like a uh, national uh, in Cambodia, King of, Kingdom of Cambodia, they, they have um, the mother uh, nation, religion, and king. So the Buddhism, Buddhist model, model is uh, um, Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. So why those? So called, um, it's related to um, history of the uh, Buddha when he after he got them the uh, enlightenment. They have two um, men, yeah, two men or two people who got uh, two uh, triple gems first. That's a, um, his name about the Bosa and Parika. 
So lo- those two men, he got a, a triple gem earlier after Buddha got get enlightenment. Um, and Buddha was in meditation about 45 weeks, you know, 45 days, yeah, 45 days. So that's a uh, very, very first uh, triple gem that uh, relate to uh, so those people, yeah. Um, other than that, uh, for whole triple gem, uh, it's about Yusa Kolobot. His parents, his friends, his wife, and whole his family, he has a story with the triple gem. And they also, got the first triple gem is their refuge for their life. This is a, I just mentioned about it. Thank you, Ponte. Thank, thank you so much, uh, Ponte, for sharing uh, what the triple gem referred to. As we mentioned, it is about the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sankha. And further, you um, mentioned about the two first men who took refuge in the uh, two gems uh, by the time there was not the, the Sankha, uh, um, you know, order was not established as yet, but the Buddha was there and the Dharma, of course, founded by the Buddha. And af- later afterwards, the Yasa, the man by the name of Yasa, uh, was the very first man right if i'm not wrong he was the first man who uh, took refuge in the triple jam you know taking the buddha the dharma and the sangha as his uh, refuge so i also would like to turn to whether boss samyanti if he has anything else to add on to that and also please um have explained why is it called the triple jam you know why we refer to the buddha the dharma and the sangha as a triple gem, what does triple gem mean and why this name, uh, you know, was so called? Thank you very much, the most venerable moderator. <clears throat> um, the triple gems, generally, if we um, look at the word and gem, gem mean the valuable, valuable, thing, valuable um, um, jewelry or diamond that many <clears throat> people around the world um, like it and happy to take it and they are, yeah, they, they wish to have the gems in uh, their own life to wear or to make like the ornaments and uh, like the <clears throat> something to decorate their body. It is, it means the gem. The gem generally um, mean that something bring happiness and pleasure to the people. And the gem in this term, we call triple gem. Why triple gem? Triple mean um, that there are three things together as you mentioned, Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. So Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha combine together, we call triple gem, because the valuable thing that bring happiness to the world, because the word triple gem translated from the Pali word, ti, uh, ti sarana, ti sarana or tri sarana, ti or tri mean triple or three. And sarana means to remember or to, to bring, to bring um, happiness. Why, why we say that bring happiness? Because many, many um, um, scholars define the word sarana as the remember thing or as the, uh, as the something to depend on or refuge that we, we call generally refuge or three refuge or taking refuge to uh, triple gems, something like that. But sarana, sir, mean to remember, ra mean to be happy and not mean uh, to bring. So to bring happiness, yeah, to bring 
uh, happiness to uh, living beings who observe or who taking the refuge in those the, uh, those uh, refugee uh, sorry those triple gem so i sum up with the triple gem mean those valuable thing that bring happiness to uh, living being in the universe Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, uh, Pante Samyate, for uh, verifying about the definition of the triple gem as you refer to triple or three and gems uh, or can be called as jewels. Uh, we can call in a few different words. You know, some people call triple gems, some people call the uh, three jewels, come, some people call it as the three refuges, as we may refer to the word trisarana uh, or tisarana or tiratana if we use the word the pali word as tiratana uh, so we can use the english term as the uh, three jewels or triple gem and if we use the pali word as a three tisarana we can use the english term as the three refuges because sarana something that uh, can be memorable something that we should recollect it on a daily basis um, so by saying this word there must be something very special about the triple gem because people uh, depend on it and just like you said it can bring peace and happiness when people uh, recollect about the triple gem taking the triple gem near and near to their heart so there must be something very special about it so i would like to further ask another question that reminds me about um you know why do we need to take refuge in the triple gem? And what does it mean to take refuge in the triple gem? Venerable Jung Vichet, can you explain according to your experience, you know, having become a monk and having uh, learned the Buddhist education, how do you see the taking refuge in the triple gem means why people need to take refuge uh, in the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha? About uh, refuge or triple gems, um, all human being, all life being living on the earth, one day uh, come up with the fear and suffering. So they always um, search or find out the something to hope for hope and. Uh, uh, real happy, real happiness, and for peaceful in mind also. Um, about that issue, the people go rely on, rely on thing, this and that, like in uh, Sarana. Something like that. So some live being they found out um, mountain, forest, aram, vana, or even uh, in the sea or wherever the thing is uh, safe for them, for their hope, and for their happiness. But in the term of the Buddhism, of the Buddha teaching, even um, which refute, which hope, even if there are a lot hope a lot of refuge that the human being thought or life being thought it's not real the real refuge real refuge real refuge real hope of human being or life being life is a triple gem why because all triple gem live human being to get the real hope and real happiness, to get rid of suffering, to get rid of cause of suffering, to get rid of 
and to find out season of suffering and practice on the way Buddha taught. All those is uh, in noble truth and the way to practice in noble truth is eightfold path. So when they practice eightfold paths and they keep and they uh, take triple gym for their refuge, they will get the real hope and real happiness for life. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Pante, for uh, sharing your experience and thoughts about why one uh, take refuge is in the triple gem as we aware that triple gem is the most invaluable things for people's life and you mentioned about uh, fear you know fear of this and that fear of any danger that can happen to their life so fear is the root cause behind why people take refuge in triple gem you know just like i think it's very most likely the same idea uh, you know, behind the root cause of religion, uh, why religion uh, happens in the world, because people have fear, so they must seek something uh, as they are dependent, they need to seek some shelter, you know, and something they have confidence in and believe that it would liberate them from any kind of danger, fear, and suffering. So they create something, uh, you know, that is immortal, something which is dependable, something which can uh, liberate them from suffering. But there might be uh, different, you know, it can be a wrong path, it can be a right path when people have the fear. So it leads them to seek something for the help. In the same way, when we talk about taking refuge in the Triple Gem, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, as you already mentioned, that uh, fear can lead us to think about uh, our liberation, just like a pico when we see the fear of the uh, Tukha or the Sangsara Tukha. So that uh, encourages us to work hard to practice the way in which leading to the cessation of suffering. So again, I would like to turn over to Venerable uh, Sam Chen Thi. Uh, very similar question, you know, uh, what can you explain, you know, how to, uh, what does taking refuge in the Triple Gem mean? And is it, is it necessary for Buddhists to take refuge in the triple gem, if they are not taking refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and Sangha, are they called as Buddhist? Um, thank you for the valuable question. Um, actually, um, like the most venerable Dharma Tero and the venerable uh, Prada Mandiboto as moderator mentioned, um, to to begin belief and religions. In the primitive stage, people uh, create religions. So they create religions first, and then they select the gods or religions to believe. There are so, so many religions at the very beginning that they are um, uh, creating. Why? Because due to fear, due to fear of the people that they are stuck by, struck by fear and worry and uh, they don't know how to solve the problem. They don't know exactly how they can get rid of all the suffering, the fear that affected them. So that's why they create religion as you mentioned. That's why when they were, uh, sorry, the Buddha, our Supreme Buddha also mentioned in Dhamma Buddha, and all may um, well known about that stanza, Bahungwe Saranangyanti Papatani Vanani Che, Arama Roka Chetiani Manusa Piyata Chita. So they go to many a refuge, those who have been struck by fears. They go to the mountain or forest, the park, and tree and shrines. So this is the stanza that the Buddha mentioned that because of fear, threaten all 
living beings at that time, they go such places as mentioned by Venerable uh, Damatero, like Mount, mountain guard or the forest, the giant forest, the giant tree in the forest or, or some other thing like the sea god or, or the earth god or some man, many gods, you know? Yeah, many gods. In Indian tradition, there are 33, 33 gods, 30, 33 million gods at, uh, at that time that they respect, they worship. So they try to select the god, which god is the most powerful uh, to depend on or to take a refuge in. So it is how religions and, um, and belief happen in, in that time. And even now, people, because of their fear, they fear about going to the hell, they fear, they fear go, uh, committing the wrong thing, that they go to the church, they go to the uh, Hindu temple, they go to the mosque, and they go to the monastery, because they, they, are, they fear of something. That's why it is a very valuable thing. Turning to your question that um, to be Buddhist, one must uh, take refuge or what? Yeah, it is real. Because the Buddha also mentioned in that the same stanza, netam ko saranam kemang, netam saranam uttamam, netam saranam agam, sabbadukha pamunchiti. So, but none of those refuge, none of those are a secure refuge. None is the refuge supreme. Not by relying such a refuge can be free from all suffering. So this refuge, they, they, are, they are going to take the mountain god or sea god or forest god or um, Jaijia, the, the shrine god or something. It is not, it is not secure. It is not, not supreme. They cannot have the, those people, those living beings uh, out of suffering. But the Buddha said, Yoja buddhanja dhammanja sankhanja saranangato. Chattari Arya Sachani Samapanya Yapasati. But one who has gone for refuge to the Buddha, to the Dhamma, to the Sangha, sees with the perfect wisdom the Four Noble Truth. Suffering, the arising of suffering, uh, sorry, this is the 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 real refuge. That is the real refuge that is secure. That is the refuge that can, that is the suffering and can rely on and get rid of all suffering. It is the perfect refuge. So the Buddha mentioned triple gem, Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha is the valuable refuge that one must, uh, one must uh, take in refuge in to, um, to bring happiness and to rely and to um, get emancipation. Without this refuge, you cannot call a Buddhist. Without taking refuge, you cannot be a Buddhist. If you cannot, if you are not a Buddhist, I, 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 I dare to say that you cannot get rid of all suffering because to get rid of all suffering only following the noble eightfold paths. To following, uh, to following eight noble paths, you have to be a Buddhist to practice following the Buddha's teaching because there is no uh, eight noble paths in other, in other religions. So it is, it is true. If, if you study all religion in the world, you cannot find the noble eightfold paths. So if there is no noble age for past, there is no, thing, uh, no way to get rid of all suffering. You can be to, to the, the realms of God, to, you can be a Brahma to born with the Brahma world, but even in Brahma world or the realm of God, it can um, affect that suffering either. So everywhere in universe affected with suffering, even gods, deity, and every supernatural beings also affected with all suffering. So to get rid of all suffering, you have to be 
um, uh, practicing following the eight noble paths and taking refuge in the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Thank you. Yeah, that, that is very interesting, Pante, when you um, talked about uh, also the, the fear that uh, leads to uh, people to find something as their refuge, like in the case of religion, where it is created by men, you know, men themselves, out of fear, they create religions, something that they can spiritually, you know, independable, or they build confidence with something that can give them happiness. So they try to seek some other external, you know, refuges in the hope that they can be liberated from fear and danger. So uh, in the same way for uh, Buddhism and also for those who call themselves as Buddhists, as you mentioned, it is so important that we have the confidence in the triple gem, um, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. If we don't have the confidence or the faith, Sattva, uh, believing that the enlightenment of the Buddha, the Buddha was certainly awakening one who sees the truth as they are and uh, realize the form of the truth, uh, put an end to the suffering of the world, and then believing in his teaching, what he found is the the way leading to the, the cessation of suffering and also believing in the guidance uh, from the noble disciples of the Buddha, Ariya Sankha. And so when we have confidence in uh, taking refuge in, in these three, three, four gems, it will build our um, motivation to work harder so that we can be liberated. And again, it, uh, you know, uh, I want to ask another question that is so related to each other when you mentioned that it is important as Buddhists, we need to take uh, the refuge in the triple gem. And you also mentioned what does it mean by taking refuge in the triple gem. But now, uh, you know, um, how do we take refuge in the triple gem? And is there any form of recitation uh, using the Bali language or the recitation of, you know, uh, Bali in order to become a Buddhist. For example, if I am a newcomer to, to Buddhism, suppose if I am asked, uh, I want to be a Buddhist, but how can I become a Buddhist? How do I take refuge in the Buddha? So Vendabal Chumbijat, what can you explain about that? Um, that question uh, relates to uh, a declaration or commitment of the own self to the Buddhism. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't remember um, that uh, Pali uh, version, but uh, I can talk uh, like uh, first time in uh, traditional of the, of the Buddhist monk, the newcomer or new beginner who want to get involved uh, who want to become a, yeah, to become a, a new member of the of Buddhist community, um, Buddhist practitioner. So they come up with the Buddhist monk and ask that, what I should do? And could you guide me or tell me what I can follow or what I can practice? Started with the uh, beginning. Um, yeah, in the Pali word, a Pali version, it is in the in the, um, uh, or in the Buddhist monk always guide uh, people who want that. So uh, a kind of a recitation or a repeat after. Uh, with the Pali word and uh, their own language. Like our Khmer language, we have a Pali word and translate into Khmer language. And explain them how to commit money and how to get involved and start to learn and practice in Buddhism. So, like I said, earlier relate to a commitment of the who, whoever want to be want to, to be a, a Buddhist 
community, uh, community Buddhist uh, five members. Yeah, and they are sure they're ready for that. So that's gap between uh, uh, Buddhist monk and Buddhist other uh, people who want to become a Buddhist. They can explain it. They can guide them. And after that, they can learn uh, Buddhist, uh, Buddha teaching and on and on. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Monday, for uh, raising the very interesting point. I What I picked up from you is that um, the way we take refuge in the Triple Gem is like the declaration of ourselves to be as a Buddhist, to be a follower of the Buddha's path. So we have to announce ourselves so that we have more confidence in the practice of Buddhism, you know, applying what the Buddha taught into the daily life, like taking the five precepts, you know, and so I think it's quite like there is some, um, you know, uh, way to address ourselves and also to declare ourselves to other people that uh, we become as a Buddhist and there are some uh, practices that we need to undertake. And again, I want to hear from Rebel uh, Sam Jamti, you know, uh, of course, uh, in the past, I usually have uh, the question from some foreigners that they converted to Buddhism and they asked me uh, how to become a Buddhist. And now I understand, I have listened to the teachings of Buddhism and I would like to be a Buddhist. Is there any uh, rites and ritual? Is there any, you know, uh, uh, initial uh, performance that need to be uh, gone through, you know? So I would like to ask if there is uh, any recitation that is important uh, taking one as a, as a true Buddhist, or maybe um, you you can share with us about, you know, uh, from the very first person who uh, took refuge in the, the Buddha and the Dhamma, like the uh, Tapusa and Palika, we have mentioned earlier that they were the first two Upasika, Upasaka, who uh, took refuge in the Buddha, the, the Buddha, the Dhamma, and then later the Yasa. Uh, also took refuge in the triple gem. How, how how was that? I mean, what was the way uh, that they took refuge in the triple gem? Is there any action that they have done in order to accept uh, you know, the triple gem as their refuge? Is there any form, any chanting that they need to recite? And you may also add the what if uh, we become as a as a monk or then as a monk? You know, how do we take refuge in the triple gem? If there is any recitation onto that, please. Monday. Thank you very much for that is a very uh, good question. Um, yeah, to be a Buddhist, we have yeah, a form of um, being Buddhist or become a Buddhist, especially for those who are interested in Buddhism or Buddha dispensation, so can become a Buddhist by um, declaring uh, don't misunderstand about to be a Buddhist and taking a refuge. Uh, is, there, there is two forms to declare as the Buddhist and to taking a refuge in um, Triple Gem. It is two forms. If we check for the very beginning, after 49 days, it means seven weeks after Buddha enlightenment, there is two brothers, Tabusa and Balika. Tabusa and Balika is uh, from Ugatta. It's present uh, Myanmar at that time is we call in uh, Suvanapumi. So th these two merchants just only took refuge in two in two things that we, we call Dwe Wa Jika Upasaka. Dwe Wa Jika Upasaka, it means Upasaka or those lay, laymen who um, took refuge in two things, Buddha and Dhamma at that time, because uh, the Buddha did not ordain any monks. So there, there, there was no Sangha at that time. But later on, after Buddha, 
released his first sermons in Varanasi or in Benares. In that Vasa, in the first retreat session, there is um, a man, that the household man, uh, that uh, Venerable Sokhtibi mentions, the Yatsa, Yatsa, the, the sons of the householder. He, he is not the first person who took a refuge in Triple Gem. He just only listened to the Dhamma and uh, or then asked the bhikkhu and become an arahant with also later on his uh, 54 fr friends. But the, the one who took the first refuge that we call Te Wa Chika Upasaka, it means those who uh, took refuge in triple gem is his ma, his parent and his wife. Yeah, his parent and his wife. And his his mother was Sujata. Sujata is the one who offered the stick right uh, before uh, for the Buddha uh, to become a uh, to to enlighten. So just as his uh, just as was the sons of Sujata and his wife also uh, become a first uh, Upasika with his mother uh, who attend, who gained a refuge. Uh, but at that time, you know, to, to declare a Buddhist, even though later on, we see many stories in Dika Nigaya or in other Nigaya related to the Brahmin or to uh, many people in the, uh, at that time, when they're lis listening to the Buddha's teaching and they're certified. They said, a pikantan godamang, a pikantan godamang, oh, Gautama is very precise, oh, Gautama is very wonderful that you teach, you open, and you declare, you show the way. And so when they are very happy and then they, they declare himself, ke panu petang, uh, uh, so they declare that from now onward, oh Gautama Buddha, I am taking refuge in Gautama Buddha and in the Sangha. May you ask the Upasaka taking refuge in your dispensation. Uh, until my life, for all my life. So it is the form to be to declare as the Bud Buddhist. But to take a refuge later on, Buddha form, Buddhang Saranang Gachami, Dhammang Saranang Gachami, Sankang Saranang Gachami. This is the forms of ordination. In very beginning, the Buddha gives the Upasambada to those five ascetic. Anya Gondanya, Wappa, Bhattiya, Asiti, and Mahanama by Ehepiko Upasambada. But because of many people, many, many men want to become a Buddhist monk, want to, to, want to ordain after the first retreat then many monks bring the men the young man to the Buddha to be ordained. So the Buddha allowed this triple gem to give Upasambada. It means higher Upasambada to, be, to become bhikkhu. Buddham saranam gachami, dhammam saranam gachami, sankham saranam gachami. Just recite those stanza perfectly by uh, Pali term, one can become a bhikkhu, higher ordination. At that time we call Saranu Upasambada. But later on, because of his only son, Rahula, one uh, uh, become a salmonator, a novice. So the Buddha killed the three stanza, Te Saranu Upasambada become a Pabbaja to ordain a novice. And then to become a higher ordination, one must take Chatutta Kamavaja in the story of Rat. The rather the young, the old man, uh, yeah, the old, uh, the old man to become a bhikkhu, higher ordination. So this is the two way, you know, 
to be to become a Buddhist, yeah, to become a Buddhist, one has to declare from now on. I uh, from now on, I take refuge in Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. May you remember me as the Upasaka or Upasika. Just only saying that. No need to commit the Pali term. If you if you cannot say the Pali term, you just say that you are Buddhist. Yeah, you are Buddhist, and to confirm, you may go approach the monks or Jaya or Bodhi tree or the temple or the Buddha statue. You can recite three times: Buddhang Saranangga Chami, Dhammam Saranangga Chami, Sangkang Saranangga Chami to become a Buddhist and to become a Buddhist, to taking a refuge, by taking a refuge in Triple Gem, you are initiated into the practice of the Buddha's teaching. So to be a real Buddhist, you have to live your life following all the principle of the Buddha, Buddha teaching with full understanding. So when you commit yourself to be a Buddhist and taking a refuge to the Buddha, you have to follow his teaching and find out clearly the full understanding because without understanding, you cannot practice properly. So this is uh, how to become a Buddhist and uh, recall to the Sujata, the parents of, um, of Yasa, who are the first person to take a refuge in the Buddha. But don't, re uh, don't forget, the first lady who enlightened, who became a Shota Panna, the first before Sujata, before parents of Yasa and his wife, and before other. You know, when, when we say about the enlightenment, the after Buddha's enlightenment, only, only uh, Gondanya. Gondanya is the first person who listened to the Buddha in uh, Varanasi and, and, and enlighten. And other four, like Bhadiyavapa, Mahanam, and Asiji, still not understand proper, properly. So still, still not get into the stream. Only the 18, 18 grottes of Brahma become a Srutapanna. But don't forget one lady. In that day also, in the day that the Buddha delivered the Dhammajaka for Vadana Sutta, there is one lady become a Srutapanna. She never met the Buddha before, and now until, his, until her demise, she never met the Buddha. But she met the Buddha by Dhammakaya. So that's why the Buddha said, Yo Dhammang Basiti, Sumang Basiti. Who, uh, see the, who see the Dhamma, those see me as the, the target, as the Buddha. And Upasaka Kali in Pachanda Janapata, she is the father, uh, the mother of, of uh, Venerable um, uh, Sona. Venerable Sona, who are the, the, the supreme place of uh, recitating a long stream or Sarapanya. So, Kali understand the Dhamma and realize the truth, become a Shodapanna, and delivered Yasa at that time. So the Yasa born in the full moon of um, Asala, the day that the Buddha delivered the Dhamma Chakapavatana Sutta. And the long story of Upasika Kali, you can find in Dhammapada in Bhikkhuva. In, in, the, in, in chapter discussing about Bhikkhu. And she also um, introduced far, uh, 900, 900 um, bandage, the Jora, to become an Arahan also, to ordain and become an Arahan because of uh, her loving kindness. So coming back to our question, so <laughs> a little bit long, um, to, to be a Buddhist, you have to declare but taking a refuge, you have to confirm yourself and to be sure with clear understanding and uh, make fully understanding about the Buddha's teaching, taking Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha as, as a refuge. 
So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that was uh, a lot of uh, good input that you mentioned about, uh, you know, the historical evolution of uh, the stages in which one took refuge in the Triple Jam, you know, comparing from the ancient uh, during the Buddha's lifetime up to the present day. And I also have read uh, from other sources, uh, they also talk about the origin of the Triple Jam, just like you mentioned, uh, you know, but we don't have much time to go into detail about that. But I just would like to say two, two things. Um, in the past, in the Buddha's time, uh, there, there was no any form of recitation, just like we do today, you know, uh, just like you already mentioned that um, after, you know, one listening, having listened to the the teachings of the Buddha, and they uh, gain vision, they got a uh, clear vision and very happy about the teaching, they, they got so uh, enlightened. So they just uh, very emotionally happy and then they declare themselves from now on, uh, may I be your disciple, I devoted my life for uh, the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha. And that was the way, you know, during the lifetime of the Buddha, there was no any recitation form, but as the historical background of Buddhism, you know, uh, developed from generation to other generation. And we see today that uh, we have some forms of recitation, just like you mentioned, um, if we were to become a, an ordained novice monk or full-fledged pikku, we have to, uh, you know, go through the some Pali recitation. And it is so important that we recite it correctly, we articulate it very clearly based on the, the Pali uh, version. And also, um, uh, like you all, you mentioned about the Buddham Saranang Gachami, Dhammang Saranang Gachami, Sanghang Saranang Gachami uh, for second time and third time. So this has become a formula, you know, that uh, we recite every day even when we uh, request for the five precepts, we undertake the five precepts from the monks. So the monk also deliver this uh, uh, three refuges at the very beginning of the five precepts. So I think that's quite interesting for us. Uh, and um, uh, just to remember that uh, in the past there was no form, but in today we need uh, some uh, recitation so that we uh, surely devote ourselves on the path of the practice. And uh, again, uh, I would like to ask another question related to uh, this triple gem that we have uh, mentioned a lot, a lot of details, uh, uh, you know, about the how the triple gem come into existence and the way we take refuge in the triple gem and how important it is for our life. Right now, I would like to, uh, you know, uh, let our audience learn about the benefit of uh, taking refuge in the triple gem. As you said, you have uh, read some Bali verses and gatha, you know, about seeking refuge in this and that, and that not that would not be the true refuge because it won't lead people to the true liberation. But the triple gem is, and um, like in the the you know the chanting we say uh, it be so at the end we say nati me saranang anyang buddho me saranang warang there is no any other refuge that is better than the refuge in the buddha that is better than the refuge in the dharma and the sangha but still we can see that uh, specific, specifically in the context of cambodian society if we were to raise a little bit about that you know because i witness and I understand the situation. Sometimes people do not understand in depth about taking refuge in the triple gem. Uh, they declare themselves as Buddhist, um, but sometimes they go to seek refuge from fortune teller, you know, from other god, the earthly god, or we call Netta in the Sakmai, you know, and a lot of a lot of things are going on, you know, in our society. And not just in, in Cambodia alone, some other countries as well, like Thailand, like Burma, even Buddhism has been strongly rooted in the country. But, you know, somehow it, 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 it was mixture with the tradition and cultures. That is why sometimes the purity of the teaching of Buddhism has been a flavor, you know, has been blended with different colors and flavor based on the cultures and, and uh, tradition of the country. So uh, just the question I would like to ask to Venerable uh, Chung Vichet. 
uh, what can Triple Gem help us when we uh, truly take refuge in the Triple Gem? You know, what kind of things that uh, Triple Gem can, can help us? Can you uh, explain a little bit and with example as well, if possible? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ponte uh, moderator. Um, as uh, you raise uh, explanation, uh, um, express uh, your explanation after Venerable Chanti. Um, he explained very clear about that uh, point for the Buddhist follower or beginner. Uh, for two forms, it is a, uh, and about the benefit about the Buddha follower in our country or other South Asia country. Um, some point, some of them, not all, but uh, um, they practice and uh, become a Buddhist by traditionally from parents, ancestor or country where they born. And at a point why they still believe this and that, because um, like Venerable uh, Samjanti explained, uh, because they are not understanding not full understanding of the Buddha teaching, limitation of their understanding and their learning from the Buddha teaching. Not just what we experience or what we, we know around our community, but inside our community Khmer or other country, uh, believe and practice in Buddhism. They need, they need to learn, they need to listen, they need to get knowledge, they need to understand and practice on the right way of the Buddha teaching. Related to the triple gem benefit for practitioner or for Buddhist follower. Put triple gem on the overhead, uh, on the bow as a refuge of uh, Buddhist people. We, not just lay people, Buddhist monk, we must understand the uh, Buddha teaching, live, life being, get it up issue get it of problem and get it of suffering. What kind of issue? Uh, any kind of issue. So if it is the goal of the, the Buddha and it is the benefit of the uh, taking a deeper gem and practicing in a uh, Buddha teaching, all those whatever to be the gap exist like Sutta, Vinaya, and Abhidhamma. It's um, rely on their, um, their understanding and rely on their um, favor. Like some people, they love to study uh, Sutta Vinaya, yeah, Sutta, yeah, Sutta Vinaya. And some people, they rely, rely on uh, Vinaya or discipline of the Tipitaka. And some, they study more and more deeper and deeper about Abhidhamma. Like Buddha named some Buddhist monk in when he was alive. Some is uh, experience and go at with the like uh, power, like Mogala, Mogalana. Oh no, uh, sorry. Um, uh, it's like, uh, they love like 
like code add like uh, wisdom or something like that, like Sereporta uh, and uh, Ananda. Yeah. So that's why uh, uh, different uh, different people, different uh, favor, different uh, uh, learning and uh, um, understanding of the Buddha teaching. Uh, all those three uh, typical. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Pante, for raising some uh, interesting point to cover, you know, with the idea around how Triple Gem can uh, help us and benefit in our lifestyle as human center, uh, many aspects. And of course, uh, you know, even though people are taking refuge in the Triple Gem, that doesn't mean that they, they don't have the wrong understanding, right, as a worldly human beings. Uh, we still have um, ignorance and so because of fear, because of greediness, people may uh, seek refuge from other external sources as well rather than just, uh, you know, the, the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha. But I would like to turn to one of all Sam Janti about that, you know, as you, we have seen uh, our, some of our people, they come to the temple, you know, sitting in front of the Buddha statue or they use some you know, ignite some incense and can light some candle and pray for the Buddhas for help. Okay, I want to be happy. May I be happy? Please, Buddha, help me. Or even some ask for lottery and so on. Is that a, a true refuge? And does it happen in any way when we pray to the Buddha, you know, for happiness and so on? How does the Buddha, the Dhamma, and Sangha truly help us on the daily life? And can you, what can you say about that? Thank you, Plante, for the valuable question. Uh, it is true that many people that they misunderstand about taking refuge in uh, their, um, their, their refuge, uh, especially for our Buddhist people, that they are going to, to the temple and with their wishes, they wish to be like this and the wish to gain such a thing like this or last, uh, like you mentioned to 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 win a lottery also it is the the way how they want um they want the buddha or want their merit to to take to help them um asking um as an example for those people, they are like only asking something for their personal merit. Because if they, they do a lot of merit, do a lot of good ticket, good ticket in previous bird on this bird to go into the temple offering arms or clothes or other requisite to the Buddha uh, to the Buddha statues or uh, to the Sangha, they gain a lot a lot of merit. But they're still asking more and more. They still ask that asking more and more. By asking, they can reduce. They can reduce their uh, their confidence in in the wrong way. Because to be a real Buddhist, you have to be fully understanding, fully understanding uh, of the Buddha's teaching. As we mentioned earlier, to to taking refuge because we fear. Or, or because we are suffered. Recall to 1979, the, the, the Cambodian uh, people um, take refuge in, in Tha Cambodian Thai border came. So they have shelter and came. So you, you run away from, from, from the very dangerous situation. In, in, in Cambodia at the Pol Pot region. So you, you run away from the very dangerous situation and dangerous place seeking for safe. So living in camp in Cambodian Thai border and you also continue seeking for a refuge in the third country like United States of America or European country or uh, European Union or uh, in Australia or some other parts of the world. So because you are fear, fear of what? Fears of die, fear of um, 
punishment of fear of nothing to eat or to survive. So you want to survive with prosperity and with uh, confident uh, security, especially. So this is the way how people taking refuge in the camp. So in the same way, similarly to taking refuge in religions or in the Buddha, in the triple gem, it is the same way because you are free and you have to see the real fear. The real fear, what is the real fear? The real suffer, the real thing. It is the suffering. And what are the suffering? The Buddha mentioned in very beginning of his uh, sermon, Idamko, Idamko, uh, Idamko Banapikwe Dukkam, Dukkam Ariya Sajang, Jari Bitoka, Jara Bitoka, Yari Bitoka, Maranam Bitoka, Soka Parite Vitoka Domanas, etc. So, but to coming again and again is the is suffering. To coming in this world again and again, it is suffering, decay, old age, death. All of these are suffering. When one see clearly, it is the suffering. You are living in the world, the full of suffering. Then you seeking where to get rid of all the suffering. By seeking where or how to get rid of all the suffering, you taking refuge in Buddha. Why? Because Buddha enlighten or open up or discover the truth, the way how to get rid of all this suffering. The Buddha explained this is suffering. This is the cause of suffering. This is how to, uh, how to cease of suffering. And this is the way. If you want to get rid of all this suffering, you have to go this way. So Buddha mentioned those four noble truths then you take refuge in him. You take refuge in him and you believe in his teaching. That's why you take refuge in Dhamma, his teaching. And you take in the uh, refuge in Sankar because Sankar follow properly about the Buddha's teaching and he also continued delivered his teaching, the Buddha's teaching. So if you understand clearly about your own suffering, you're taking refuge, this is the good way and the correct way, the only way that you can get rid of suffering. I, I give an example. So there are many, many examples. If you read even Vinaya Pitaka or Sutta Pitaka, you will see many stories. But the famous, the famous story that you all know is Padajara. So you know how the hard life of Padajara the misfortunes of Badajara. Badajara Teri was born in very uh, wealth uh, family, very, very uh, wealth and, 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 and prosperous family. Yeah, very wealthy. But, yeah, wealthy fa uh, family. But because of only one mistake about desire, cannot control her desire properly, so she ran she ran away, she ran with uh, um, her, her boyfriend as a gardener in her house. So how hard is her life, was her life? So she lost two sons, husband, parent, and brother, become in, insane. So became insane. So lost his mind, proper, uh, totally lost, and did not aware herself. But by going to the Buddhas to see the Buddha, Buddha just said to recover, to remember her, you are suffered so much in this world and you lost, you lost not only this parent, not only this children, not only this husband, not only this brother, but you lost a long trip of your was cycle. So Badajara remember that and the Buddha said, 
ne sandi putta tana yana pita ne pon ne ne pi bandawa etc so all of those son husband parent or brother or relatives or friends cannot help you when the debts come no one can help you so you have to help yourself so that's why padajara understand and take refuge in the buddha and become an arahant this is how 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 buddhism or the buddha have and you know other people like kesa gotami who are with the dead child looking uh, for the, the 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 doctor to to treat his, uh, her son do you remember all of that and how the buddha have have her this is also a very very good story and another one like uh, like sandati mahama sandati minister sandati who are victories from the battle and and play for seven day with drunk the drunken minister and said bad word to the buddha in the very beginning and the buddha mentioned that this drunken man will become an arahan in seven day <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he 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 did not accept the buddha's teaching at at the beginning he drank and he played for seven day but the day seven his very very beautiful dancer the young beautiful lady was died and that he suffered very much and because of his loss he cannot bear himself he will lose her his life also but remember to the buddha and then uh, go to the buddha the buddha explain just something a little bit to accept the reality and he become an arhan an arhan even though not not wearing the robe not ordained but he become an arhan and passing away uh, that day so santati muhammad and other many other um people at disciple noble disciple at that time um have a refuge in buddha so coming back to your question to read to be real buddhist so you have to know exactly that that we say about the zatha the confident not only belief belief can misunderstand to something but confident and understand clear understanding about the karma about the reality about the buddha's teaching so when you understand yourself you understand the world you understand the the problem then you find the refuge in buddha dhamma and sangha when you taking refuge in this triple gems so then you commit to practice to follow his teaching and you will get rid of all the suffering gradually thank you thank you so much Bante. that was very uh, insightful uh, format that you have mentioned it was very detailed uh, how you meant, uh, talked about the uh, the benefit of the triple gem that can give to our life you, know, you talk about in the lifetime of the buddha some people you know have been uh, alleviated from suffering uh, based on taking of in triple gem especially uh, i just would like to emphasize on this that uh, when we take refuge or seek help from the buddha it doesn't mean that the buddha will come down from heaven of you know to to change us uh, as a good person or the buddha would not convert us as uh, to be a happy person or the buddha will install us with some good power you know that's not the way the buddha have just not the way uh, the, the Dhamma and Sangha have. It's just like he said in the Mahabharata Sutta that yo uh, damang pasti so mang pasti. Those who see uh, the Dhamma will see that the Thakata. That means if you want the Buddha to help you, uh, you need to help yourself first, right? You have to follow the teaching, practice the teaching, and this teaching as the the refuge in the dharma will guide your way and liberate yourself from uh, the suffering so buddhism center is not to place any importance on external sources but yourself your own action what you do uh, you will become you know whatever man shown that shall also be ripped so to sum up this idea i just want to make it short because we run out of time that uh, uh, what the triple gem, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha can have uh, is not that uh, we go to pray for the Buddha, the Dharma, and they will come down and help us and give us some money, give us some power, 
you know, give us some happiness. No, that's not the way that it refers to taking refuge in a triple gem. Taking refuge in a triple gem, we take refuge in the good quality of the Buddha, it's not in the individual, as we know that the Buddha composed of great wisdom, great virtue, and great purity. So with that, we just, uh, you know, uh, taking that good sample in order to practice for ourselves, you know, taking their sample, taking their, their role model, why they have become enlightened, how they practice. So we just take their uh, role model in order to apply for ourselves. And then taking refuge in the Dhamma in the same way, we just try to practice what he taught. And the Sangha also, just like a spiritual teacher, you know, when we are sick, being a patient, we go to, you know, seek help uh, from the doctor, then they will prescribe some uh, medicine or treatment for us. So taking refuge in the Buddha and the Dhamma in summary, uh, just you know, try to uh, help yourself, liberate yourself by uh, paying homage to the Buddha, taking his great, his great virtues, his great wisdom, his great compassion, and his great qualities as your refuge, as your role model, and then follow uh, his teaching and uh, practice by yourself, and then, then you can be liberated. So because of the time, I would not ask any more questions, uh, but uh, before ending our live show, I would like to, again, thank you so much for both Venerable uh, Speakers, Venerable uh, Jung Vichet Damatero, live from Wat Muni Sattara, the state of Minnesota, and Venerable Damasiri Sam Janti from the state of Arizona for spending time and explaining, sharing the knowledge of Dharma concerning with the topic today day taking refuge in the triple gem i hope our audience uh, will be uh, learning have learned something from uh, this discussion and will be able to under, uh, understand in depth and how to uh, apply it onto the daily life as to get uh, more benefit from the practice of buddhism so finally uh, i would like to share the merit from this the dhammatana may all living beings in the whole universe be happy be peaceful and liberated finally thank you uh, so much for uh, our audience who have been watching and following our live show and so thank you uh, most venerable the timoni mangsang the abbot of what Sutara, the state of minnesota for presided over this um um, uh, organization, the Cambodian Buddhist Monk Society in USA, and also again, thank you uh, for your support and help, uh, especially most uh, all lay devotees who have been supporting uh, the our Cambodian monks in society in the USA. So finally, um, I would like to say thank you, and we will see you again next week. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Ponte, and thank you, everybody. Good night.